We're here to tell you all the top game. 10 games you should play instead of Twilight Princess number one. Mario, the number one plumber <laughs> in the whole world. The fastest man, jumping is good. He's got great legs, good pants, good jeans, a super face mustache, and you will love to see him go into the hole. Don't forget about brother, who is taller. Number two, Luge. <laughs> brother of Marlo. He is a Marlo. Brother of Marlo. <laughs> Oh, hello there. It's Brian and Zach from Nintendo Voice Chat, the number one show at Nintendo, I, IGN, about Nintendo. Yeah? Do we, the, it is the greatest the Nintendo greatest? show at IGN. That's, I think, that's true. I think that's the award, yeah. yeah. Now, here's a weird thing about IGN is when you work here, slowly but surely, you kind of accumulate this massive toy collection on your desk. Mm -hmm. I will say that new hires have this weird thing where they're like, they kind of look around and they're like, well, I don't have a bunch of toys on my desk. And you're like, you will. Yeah, we often describe it as desk envy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's people are looking around because we're in a unique position where we can do basically whatever we want with our desks. And uh, well, when you come, basically. Uh, but you, if you if you come in to a new work environment and you haven't worked, especially in this field before, mm -hmm. you might not have a lot of the stuff that that like other people have, like yeah. figures wise and stuff. Like personally, a lot of the stuff on my desk is uh, figures that I collected when I was like a teenager and a kid yeah. uh, and brought those in because like they had been sitting in my parents' attic forever and it, finally I had a space to display them. Yeah. It wasn't my apartment. And we had so. this weird uh, thing where we, we asked Pablo, who's our building manager, to order us like these shoe racks mm -hmm. and then we cover them in toys. It's yeah. just, it's bizarre behavior and like it's so odd because like one day we'll have to put them in a box and go somewhere else or put them on the train uh -huh. or something like that and it's gonna look it's gonna be sad. Asking for the shoe rack is like leveling up. Yeah. Like when you have so many desks on or toys on your desk that you need to, to request the shoe yeah. rack, that's when I feel like you've made it. Well, your collection came together really quick, and I yeah. love yours because like you have a lot of the more high end stuff. Yeah. Uh, whereas I have a lot of the more smaller, kind of cheaper things that I've been collecting throughout the years. But uh, either way, you and I grabbed a sort of quick selection. Yeah. Some of our favorite Nintendo stuff. Yeah. Just some a random smattering of things we have. Sure. Do really you want to go thought, down the line here? Yeah. We'll go. Okay. We'll go through real quick. So I've had this one since I was a kid. This is a original McDonald's. Happy Meal toy of a Koopa Parachupa. Uh, originally, he had a little cloud on his. Oh, butt. I remember those. Yeah, yeah, he would squeeze and he would do and a he hop. Do a hop. Yeah. So look at those. He's got those nice legs. He's got the, the hop and chunk. Yeah, he, he never skips leg day. He has that weird face. It's just very odd. Uh, next, you and I recently. This is a good one. Yeah. yeah. You and me were in Germany uh -huh. for Gamescom, and we found this weird little. We were coming home from a bar drunk one night, mm -hmm. uh, and we were quite jovial, and we walked by this bar and uh, with this little room, and we saw like what looked like a terrifying puppet repair store. It, um, it, it is a terrifying puppet which it repair is. store. Yeah. And we went back during the day and it was actually a lot nicer. There's a nice little German lady that works there and this is right by the Dom, which is the famous, famous cathedral there. That's a tough sentence. Uh, and I found this Mario, who I did some research, was actually a uh, sort of Eminem Mars giveaway as part of a German chocolate collection back in the day. And I went on eBay and I bought the full set of them. Luigi is there, uh, Yoshi, Toad, and Peach, and they are each like more terrifying than last. Yeah, they, I love the fact that they're just so significantly off brand. It's when you weird. look at them. Like they're so ugly. They're terrible. I so I, I think like them a lot. I don't know if they're based on like Nintendo power drawings that mm. kids sent in. <laughs> like that's how it feels. <laughs> this uh, is what Mario looks like. In the same store, I can't believe he kept the prices on these. Uh, Andrew Goldfarb found these two little Mario pins, and they're adorable. Again, like just Mario doing his jobs, which is race car, the flag, and then also I don't know if he's. If he's like calling this race and, and then also racing, racing that this race. race, yeah, it's weird. Uh, Andrew bought me a uh, Mario Kart pin, but it's like Mario in an F1 car. Yeah, um, and I I put it on my my jacket. I pinned it to my jacket and promptly lost it. And oh. I will forever regret that. Yeah, it was. I had a backpack on. And the backpack strap must have just knocked it off and it's gone forever. It's somewhere in Europe. If you're ever visiting San Francisco or somewhere in Europe, or somewhere in Europe, look just around. Take a, just take a look around. Yeah. Look at your feet. Mm -hmm. And if there's a Mario pin there, it's probably mine. Yeah. And uh, if you're in San Francisco and you look down, it's probably not a Mario pin. <laughs> it's poop. 
Um, this is, uh, in Japan, they have these things called gachapon, which are basically capsule toys. And when Mario, uh, for the new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii U came out, one of the power-ups in that game was to turn tiny. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a tiny Mario power-up. Not just a small Mario, but this is based on the model of Tiny Mario. Oh, that's the weird really thing cool. about him is that it's kind of a puzzle. Like he comes apart. Like I just, there's, that's How strange. terrifying. And then you can put the stick inside his body. And Ooh. then you get this. I'm gonna knock that off the table. Uh, next, Club Nintendo in Japan used to be This super might be cool. the coolest thing that you've got. I really yeah. like this. So uh, Nintendo, obviously 120,000 year old company, used to make Hanafuda cards, which were basically gambling cards or, you know, for casinos. Uh, and they partnered with a small company that still prints these. And they made Hanafuda cards or Hanafuda cards based on, you know, Mario characters and Bowser drawings. And the art all... on them is so unique. Yeah, like, I really it's... dig it. Like some of it's Mario themed, some of it's not. Like, yeah, it's really cool. I haven't actually opened this in a while, so it's just kind of cool to look through. But yeah, you know, they're all over the place. They're really special. I just poured them on the table. The box is awesome. This was a Japanese Club Nintendo exclusive. Um, next, Mattel makes cars. Mario isn't a car. But today he is because for some reason they took this like funeral wagon and they put uh, art from Mario on it. I don't know why. It's just a Mario hearse. It makes no sense. It's fine, I guess. It makes no sense, but I bought it. Um, these are made, I believe these were made by Ben Presto. They're basically small puzzles that you put together and it's pixel art. So you pop these little pegs in kind of like light bright and uh, then you're good to go. And you just look at it forever. And then you look at it forever. In two, in, in the year 2010, Nintendo made mints, and uh, yeah, it still it smells fruity in there. That's what it cool. does. Um, and they made uh, little toadstools, uh, little one-up mushrooms and power mushrooms, and uh, they were individually numbered for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. But I ate the mints, and now I have the container, and it still smells like fruit. So if you're ever in San Francisco, and you're tired of digging around on the floor for the Jack's pins and finding that poop, come over to my desk. Smell some fruit out of the tin. What do you have, Zach? Uh, so like you said, I, I have a tendency to collect, um, my collection skews a little more towards figures. Um, I collect a lot of like Figma stuff. Um, yep. uh, this is, those of you that follow the show regularly will know that, that Wind Waker is my all-time favorite game. So this is one of my favorite figures. This is uh, Toon Link from the Wind Waker. Uh, this is the Nendroid. Uh, version of him yep. and he comes with all these different things like he's come he comes with like a sneaky face he comes with a heart you have this one too yeah i love um, the, I, love, I the, love this little guy that's the he's, cool thing about the different faces is that different people can own mm -hmm. the same figure and pose it completely differently yeah so my guy has been in this pose for a long time but brennan graber has this figure on his desk and it's he's like his hands are up against the wall yeah, the and he's wall got a sneaky face mm -hmm. and it's, it's a really great one but um, I, love, I love this I action paired it, yeah i paired it with with this guy uh ganondorf from wind waker not exactly the scale here yep. but this is the pre-order bonus from the wind waker hd and i was actually gifted this by a former uh, ign employee um he gave it to me because he knew that i love the wind waker and so i've had these guys in an internal struggle on my desk for the better part of three years yeah that's the thing about the toy collections at ign is that sometimes you buy stuff sometimes you're gifted stuff sometimes like publishers will send like you know uh, a weird like kind of pre-order thing in the mail and be yeah. like hey check this out i was in the office when the former employee was, was giving that away and he was like anyone want this and you're like me and yeah. i was like oh, instantly I like missed yeah. it by a second <laughs> yeah um Plush Tingle. Mm -hmm. I don't collect. Actually, this is the only plushie that I have um, in my collection. But this is a special one because uh, I bought this guy on my first trip to Nintendo in Richmond with Brian. Brian and I and Jose went up there to preview uh, Splatoon 2. Yeah. Uh, and we were all excited to go, or Splatoon, the original. And we were all excited to go up there and and see the game and see Nintendo and go on the tour. But there was a part of us that was like. Maybe they'll let us in the Nintendo shop because they don't yeah. let the public in there. That's an employee's only store. And sure enough, they, they opened the doors for like the last half hour that we were there on the visit. And so we kind of we swooped a bunch of like rare amiibos mm -hmm. and I, amiibo, and I got I got this plush Tingle Man. And I just think, as far as uh, accurate representations of Tingle goes, it's this is like pretty on the money. And like you can't buy a Figma of him. There's no amiibo no, of uh -huh. Tingle yet. Um, yeah. Nintendo, if you're watching. But yeah, that was such a cool trip because I've been to the Nintendo World Store in New York City a bunch yeah. of times. I'm sure yeah, you have I too. too yeah. The store in the Nintendo headquarters in Seattle is effectively a like private version of that Nintendo World Store, but just for employees. And you know, we were on a tour, and yeah. they let us in. Uh, I bought this, and I bought uh, a 3DS 
the, the new 3DS when I was there. Oh, because right. I was overcome with Nintendo love. Yeah. I had a 3DS. I apparently needed a new one. I, don't I, know. I bought Nintendo DS golf tees, and yeah. I've never played golf in my life. <laughs> I lost my mind in that store. I was like, buy the things! Get my yeah. um, and then I have two Figma here that I wanted to bring out and show off. Uh, this is, of course, Samus. Mm -hmm. um, now, the interesting thing about the Figma version of Samus is that it's... Samus here is based off of Other M, which is uh, not a popular Metroid game, but I will say that I really love the design yeah. of Samus in that game. I think the art style is really, really cool. So this is Other M Samus. Um, Samus also comes with like, you can attach like a laser beam that shoots out of here. Uh, there's a couple other things that come with it that I really dig. There's a morph ball. There is a morph ball. Which is odd because yeah. you can stick it to that stand and just be like, I have a morph ball action figure. That's right. And it's just the ball. It's just the ball. Just the ball, dude. Uh, and then the last thing that I've got here is uh, Twilight Princess Link. This is the, uh, the another Figma. And he's wearing, you can see he's wearing the uh, the Hawkeye mask. And he's got his, uh, his bow and arrow here. And I just... Twilight Princess isn't my favorite Zelda game, but mm -hmm. I really love this figure, and uh, the DX edition comes with all this crazy stuff. Like he's got this giant um, the ball and the chain, ball and, chain yeah. and he yeah he's got a bunch of different stuff that comes with him. He's got a really nice you can pull it out here. Mm -hmm. It's like a really nice replica of the Master Sword. So again, um, like I have the same figure, and mine's posed with like this hero pose, got the sword in the air, got the shield and everything like that. And you have yours, and so that's what I really like about these is that like. It's ba it's an action figure, but it's effectively like a statue that you can remix whenever you want. Yeah. So you if know? you come if you come to IGN, if you ever come for like a first Friday or something, you'll notice on my desk I have the the shoe stand that I've got set up is I've divided it down the middle. It's heroes and villains, and so I have this link, Skyward Sword link, Breath of the Wild link, but he's like mingling with like uh, uh, Leonardo and uh, Star-Lord and like half the cast of Metal Gear Solid and then on the other side there's like this Ganondorf and like all the bad guys from Metal Gear mm -hmm. and there's like um, the comic book guy from The Simpsons. One so. thing I've always thought about IGN is if there's some way in the universe that Toy Story is real, <laughs> Oh my god. This is a field day in here. Yeah, it would be right? amazing. Yeah. yeah, this would be like the ultimate singles party for any kind of toys to life. That's true, they, they would get it off. Get a lot of these characters do like just a real do a mingle. Lot of hot smooching and rutting. That's just a quick look at the small part of the large collection we have of Nintendo themed toys, action figures, memorabilia, plushies, um, weird smelly things. I'm Brian, that's Zach. You can catch us every single week on Nintendo Voice Chat. That's on iTunes and. IGN and YouTube and all the places you enjoy podcasts. Uh, but also, if you guys got some cool new toys for the holidays or the Nintendo theme or not, let us know. Tweet at us. I'm at Agent Bizzle. He's at Zachary SD. Mm -hmm. Or leave a comment on this video and uh, enjoy. And thanks for watching. And here's the rest of the episode. Very fruity. Still holds that musk. It's just what happened to this thing. What's up? The damn well, it's that I have the six plus, so it's the 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 performance throttling to preserve my battery life means that things take a while. Oh, do, do, that's loading. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh there, there is. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's still a little. Uh, let's see. I just need to see what episode number we're on. Um, with top men working on this, it doesn't actually. Oh, three eighty six, three eighty seven. Good. And then next uh, week. Is already in the can. Yes, that's right. Is that edit ready for next week? Uh, I believe it is. It should be ready. Because okay. um, I'd love to get that in the hopper early. I think they had Jordan cut it, so I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, no, right. not Jordan. <laughs> 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 oh, and also, we need this. It's his brother. Yeah. <laughs> Just one big question block this episode, huh? Uh, actually, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, game impressions. Oh, okay. We played a bunch of stuff and then half a uh, half question block. Let's, uh, let's see. Zach picked a whole bunch of questions. So. Ah. <laughs> let's see. The question is, what's one prediction you have for 2018 that you really think is going to happen if there's no reason to think it? Even if there's no reason to think it. Whew. Jeez, we should, read, uh, should have read these through. <laughs> Do you think that Nintendo will release the Super NES and NES Classics library on the Switch? Oof. I want the classics, but they're so hard to find. What non-Nintendo series franchise would you love to see Persona do? Uh, Persona. Mm -hmm. What is the oldest game of your back catalog that you will make sure you play someday? 
Why Damn. has it been this long? Damn, that's, these are tough ones. That's I a very good a, question. Gotta, do we have a pen? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I got a pen. Oh, thank okay. you. The oldest game in my back catalog. That's a really good question. Uh, huh. Final Fantasy 2. Oh. Like that's been in your backlog for so long? or No, no. There, there are a couple of games that uh, I've been meaning to play. That I keep pushing, uh, pushing around. Mm -hmm. That I'll never get to. <laughs> Let me think. What's what's in that drawer? There are a bunch of games in there. A drawer you have at home, or my drawer? I have drawers in my house. <laughs> they're like you open them. There are yeah. things in them. Yeah, <laughs> it's a new invention. Okay. Uh, no, I got. Um, there are ton, tons of games. Hello. Hey, Casey. Yes. This is that spot, isn't it? You probably yes. no, you probably have to be here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because you know how Zach is. Technically, <laughs> it's not, but you can. He always gives me a look when I take his hands. <laughs> yeah, no, he gets mad. Did you read through the Q and A stuff? There was only one question in the last. Oh, no, they, no, like he like he added a ton. Oh and yeah, I, I thought about a single one of them. Okay. <laughs> what is best sandwich? That is a good question. <laughs> The Elena Ruse, there you go. What now? <laughs> I was looking up this, there's this uh, sandwich that I really liked in Florida, and it's a Cuban sandwich and actually originated Ooh. in Tampa. And it's named after a lady who helped, who was around in Ebor when it first came up in Tampa. I couldn't remember right? the name of it. It's called the Elena Ruse, and it has cream cheese and strawberry jelly on it and turkey. Wait, and it's what? a pressed grilled sandwich. Cream cheese and strawberry jelly. Yep, <laughs> and turkey. In a grilled breast mm. sandwich on Cuban bread. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay. It's it's really good. Okay. It's very delicious. <laughs> I've only ever found it in South Florida. Oh, you can't get dark. Bring me some. Bring, Bring me some. Back. I can just make some. Hand luggage. That's Florida awesome. food. <laughs> we we talked at lunch about alligators. Yes. Oh, how and did that come up? Well, I'm from Florida. Cause, cause that's, <laughs> that's the only thing we know about Florida. Is that there's alligators. Is that there are alligators and that uh, Florida men do weird things. Florida fair. man. Yeah. Fair, fair. Yeah. Some of these questions like what take the... some prep, man. Jesus. Yeah. Seriously, Zachary Ryan. I think it's fine. Uh, no, hold gonna... on. What's uh, they gotta think this one through. What is that one? Uh, How I set this up somehow? Hmm. Anyone got a switch case? Uh, <laughs> it does, it's not going to work. No? No. Why not? Use, like, how use, do you set this up? I You're not going to balance it. I just I need can, something I can right use, here. I can use gaff. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a Nintendo... Yeah, me too. Like, backlog game. <laughs> this is a tough question. And you, yeah. like, just drop it casually into you position know, one. <laughs> hey, maybe you guys didn't go out on a two-hour lunch. You could have some prep time. It was an hour and a half. Are you hosting just, the fix yeah. tomorrow? We were going to take him on. Oh, this is tomorrow? No, I canceled the fix tomorrow. Fix. I, I got yeah, so going yeah, it's like there's a fix tomorrow? <laughs> just kidding. What is this? Canceling the fix? Yeah. What? What is it, like some sort of vacation? It's, yeah, it's just difficult whenever I'm, I'm the only one here. The two uh, fix. I'll be here. Well, Dana, I'll be here. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll do your fix. You will? These are all the fixes Ooh. we have for today. <laughs> hey, does anybody know why there's a toilet seat cover just chilling? No, I would have asked that question, but I decided... Yeah. That's a shoot with uh, Jackie Chan. Yeah, no, 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 like an actual, like, the paper, <laughs> like, sanitary cover. <laughs> that is not from the shoot with Jackie Chan. <laughs> yeah. uh, somebody just take an oh, extra don't, precaution. Don't somebody take it out. Look, look at this bomb right yeah. here that Zach dropped on us. All right, I'm going to make something up. I Detective actually, I Pikachu. planned this for three weeks, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm ready to write down my answer now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, Get to where I'm going next. We get some sort of Kingdom Hearts Switch uh, port. Wow. Ooh. That's my prediction. Wow. Don't steal it. <laughs> no, Here, come. I got one. Dr. Sweatpants! Should I, uh, I wore sweatpants today. <laughs> It's like first time in my career. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. It it it's hasn't stylish, escaped. So. Uh, it hasn't escaped Zach. It looks like. Can we? I'm can I challenge it. you in, in brawl out? Yeah. Can we all fight mm -hmm. each other? Can we do that? Can we do two players on one screen using Joy Cons? Yeah, we have to. Yeah. With we like just need another set of Joy Cons. Get the uh. Get a the. Wait, we need another set of Joy Cons. We can't do the split ones, breaking them off. I don't think so. There's too many uh, buttons the for that. The pearl of Joy Con uh, is Joy Con. 
That's true. We'll, That's I'll, true. I'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> plural of Brian is Brian. Plural, plural of Brian is sweatpants. No. So you're uh, you're still playing Zelda, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they put out some other games this year. Played Zelda. Maybe. I'm but still trying to finish I the second my DLC. Left save in my account on a work switch. Uh, yeah, I, I, I That's not very good. Yeah. So I went on my trip yeah, and like, I was like oh, Zelda is gonna be great, and then I went to like download it before I got my plane, and mm -hmm. it's like. Oh, that no. sucks. Yeah, and I was like, this is a brick to... now. Yeah, I restarted <laughs> my file on hard mode, but mm -hmm. I don't think I could do that again. Yeah. Yeah. I like, thought about it. I uh, I thought about again. going. I thought about going. Hey, for, Casey, for you want to see something year. terrifying? Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you line up to, line up to glass? What is that? There we go. <laughs> what is that? What is that little weird, weird wheat beer? It's, uh, it's cold brew coffee. That's not coffee's not yellow. Somebody somebody tricked you. That's not yellow. Did they it's, go, hey buddy, I got a coffee for you? It's tan. Someone tricked you in German school that when is they not... taught you colors. No, that's not that's tan. That's Did not you put yellow. milk in it? Milk. Milk. Yeah. Milk. Yes. That's oh it has milk in it? Yes. Like cow oh, milk or like frick? rare like cow's almond. milk. I I put the cow's milk in there. I got that, that weird green milk from those <laughs> The seals? The oh, seals. The, the, I would drink that the, the sitting camel manatee. I would drink that sea milk. Would you totally? Yeah. I would drink milk from any animal in Star Wars. Jabba. Uh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Jabba. Jabba. I would eat. I would eat one of those frogs out of his bong. Really? You would eat a bong frog? A bong? Yeah. What is what is a bong frog? Bong you frog? Have you seen Return of the Jedi? <laughs> oh my oh, God! Oh. Yeah. Christ. Uh, really? Uh, uh, homework. No. Oh, Casey. <laughs> She's going to watch Return of the Jedi. She's back in two hours. Yeah, hold on. We'll take a little break. Really? <laughs> Have you, you seen, seen just... Empire Strikes Back? I, I haven't. I've seen all of them but Rogue One and the newest one. So, so you then you have Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi, Return of the Jedi is the one oh. with, the, with the Ewoks. Oh, you're thinking okay, of the okay, last okay. Jedi. Was, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so like good, the original right. trilogy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Return of the Jedi. With, yes. the, with the bears. Yes. You saw that? Yeah. Okay, so at the beginning the of the movie... The third movie I have not seen since I was a child, so I do not remember any of it. That's the one. Mm. Okay. You should watch it so again. So I should absolutely yep. watch it again. I did so the words yub nub mean nothing to you? Nothing. I did nothing. a whole yeah. marathon mean anything to anybody. of the prequels and the originals and got to the last movie and then my friends were like, wait, 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 I want to watch it with you. And then, and then they... it never happened. <laughs> so you're in, you're in the market for some new friends, basically. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> They made you watch the prequels first. We, I watched them in a very strange order. I watched them episode machete order four, five, oh. and then the prequels, and oh. then that's the machete. No, order. why do they make people do that? They do that to people all the time. It's so, so bad. I think that's not. I think that's not a good way so, to watch them the first time. But I think that's the right way to watch them. Any other than any. You watch doing. four, five, six, seven, eight. If you really want, you can go back and watch Rogue One. And if you're just like just having a, just a nothing day and you're cleaning, then you can watch one, two, and three. They're fine. They're okay. Uh, a lot of people go. Well, not a lot. They're, a, they're, a, they're, they're... a specifically warped group of individuals make you watch A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and the moment you find out that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father, they go, Oh, what about when Darth Vader was a child? And then they show yeah. you all those films. Yeah. In a row, which are three not great movies, and then they show you Return of the Jedi, which is awesome. Yep. I have problems with that. Yep. Yeah, and I don't know where it, Rogue it One is. It kind of like sucked a little bit of the enthusiasm yeah. out of me. Because I, I mean, I watched this when I was kids. I didn't realize how terrible Anakin and Padme were. Right. Yeah. <laughs> No, Their dialogue is really bad. Oh, <laughs> so bad. Uh, yeah, the dialogue is actually very bad in all the Star Wars movies. It's so that's just like, that you love, you've seen the first one so many times that you, and you love those characters so much that you're willing to overlook. Governor Tarkin, I recognize your foul stench. Like, it's all in like stilted. a weird half British accent. And you know, canonically, they've explained yeah. that she was trying to trick him with a British accent. It's like, nah, you just didn't know what you were doing yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, no, but that's kind of like. No, but the, the prequels have some really bad stuff in them. That's like you go to a really nice steakhouse. <sighs> go to a really nice steakhouse, they give you these amazing appetizers, they bring you the best steak you had in your life, and then they're like, all right, here's 10 pounds of White Castle. And then you get dessert. Aww. Like that's what it is to show the prequels <laughs> after Empire Strikes Back. Perfect analogy. Uh, Brian is trying to prove to me that his freakishly orange ochre grandma stool colored drink Ooh, is somehow the color stool. of 
somehow the color of a regular good coffee. This is iced coffee. This is that, yellow. The C ladies and gentlemen, C, or all the rest of the letters in is not a coffee. That's an offie. This is an iced coffee. Okay. <laughs> Grandma uh, stool. Easy. Yes. Hi. Thanks again for watching. I wish you a happy holidays from here in the states. So I hope you have a good time with family, friends, and video games. And again, make sure to like and subscribe to MSC at youtube.com slash Nintendo Voice Chat. If you want to catch up the vlog, click up here. If you want to catch up with the podcast, click down there. And if you never want to miss an episode, click on the subscribe button bell right there, right below the video. All right, and we'll see you next time. Bye.